I'm Phil, and my incredible wife of 11 years is Erin. After taking my company remote two years ago, we started traveling the world almost constantly with our three kids. That meant big changes to their school schedules and modeling careers, but the real-world education that we're all getting by experiencing diverse cultures has definitely been worth it. After spending a couple of weeks at our island home in Coronado, we headed back to the Denver airport to catch a series of flights and a complete change of scenery on our way to the Central American paradise of Belize. Belize is situated between Mexico on the north and Guatemala on the south and is known for its insane tropical beauty, crystal clear turquoise waters, welcoming people, and world-class diving conditions. But getting the entire family there is gonna require not just one flight, and not two flights, but three total flights. With such a long day of travel, we had to get an early start and decided to spend the night at the Wesson Hotel located right next to the Denver Terminal. That way we were able to walk straight from our room to check in without worrying about drive time, parking, or catching a ride share. Our first flight was an easy two and a half hour commercial lake from Denver to Houston that literally flew by without a single issue. But we still have two more flights, so still a lot of risk for the kids to get tired, hungry, or annoyed with their sibling. Well, if two commercial flights wasn't enough, now we have one more, a puddle jumper to take us over to Placencia for our resort. But uh, hey, we're in Belize and we've got some Belizean rum. That's I don't right. even know how to say it. One barrel. Cheers. Tiny sip for me. <laughs> Our final flight was a short one and one with a beautiful view. After we landed at the very, very small airport of Placencia, we had a private hotel shuttle waiting for us, and we just needed to endure the three minute drive to the resort. They're turtles! They were ready for us when we arrived, so almost immediately we were able to unwind in our villa. This is an absolute dream here. I am so happy to be here. And we're headed to dinner. We're going to one of the resort restaurants. It's called Conk and Grill. I think it's Conk and Grill. Grilled seafood, which anything sounds amazing right now because we've barely eaten today with all of the traveling. But this place does sound amazing, so I can't wait to see what they have. We chose it because it's on the beach. And as soon as we arrived, we felt like we are in paradise and we wanted to have dinner on the beach. So, I'm gonna give a little correction. It's Goggin Grill. I just learned how to pronounce it. Goggin Grill is Turtle Inn's only beachfront restaurant, featuring fresh fish and charcoal grilled seafood, all accompanied by Balinese inspired sauces and spices. It has an eyeball. Super grilly. Welcome to Turtle Inn one of many international resorts owned by Francis Ford Coppola and his wife. He is the famous director and winemaker. So there's a lot of wine on this property. Not as much as when we first got here. No, because we drank it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with a little tour of the grounds here because there's a lot of amazing stuff to show you. This is actually a very big resort considering the fact that there are only 28 villas plus Coral Key. Right, it's a big property, but it's a boutique resort. Where do you want to start? Let's show them the, the villas, the, the rooms, the huts. Yeah? Let's go. So those 28 places are made up of a combination of what they call villas and cottages, as well as a couple of homes. And the main difference between all of those is that the cottages are basically studio suites. The villas are multi-bedroom suites. And then the homes are actually pretty traditional homes in a lot of cases, yeah? Yeah, and stay tuned because we are gonna give you a tour of one of the villas, the two bedroom suites that we have. So this place in particular, this is called Francis's Family Pavilion. And we actually don't know if he stays here with his family when he visits, but that kind of would be indicative of the name. And this is one of those two bedroom villas, but this one happens to have its own private pool and it's also seaside. It's the best of everything, which is what you would expect from the director. They even have their own little hammock right out front. How gorgeous. Right next door is Sophia's Beach House. And this one's kind of unique for the entire property, babe, because it's more of a modern take on the architecture. Instead of looking like a beach hut, it actually looks like a beach home. I like this one a lot. I think it has a little uniqueness to it and love this infinity edge pool going infinity toward the house instead of away. 
One of the great things about being in a resort so small and intimate like this is that almost no matter where you are, you're basically beachfront. Because maybe it takes you 50 steps instead of 10 steps to actually get to the Caribbean, yeah. but you're essentially there, you can see it, you're so close that you can just step right out and within under a minute you are in the water. So. This resort is very cool in that sense. Yeah, every hut has a gorgeous view and the breeze from the Caribbean goes right into every hut. This is where Cole has been spending all of his time. He has been helping the gardener, feeding the chickens, helping with chores. He loves it because there's a lot of critters in the garden too. I think this is very unique and really amazing because it's not just a little garden like you have on the rooftop of some restaurants or some hotels, some buildings. This thing is actually sprawling. So anytime you order any kind of a salad or any kind of an entree at any of the restaurants that are on this resort, if you get vegetables, if you're getting greens, it's coming from this organic garden. So it is really cool to eat a lot of the dishes that they have here because you understand just how fresh and organic everything is. That's right. They pick fruits and vegetables from here every single day. They have a beautiful greenhouse. Let's go inside. I love how they're recycling these eggshells and making little cups for new sprouts. The coconuts, using that, that's brilliant. Thank you. Now let's talk about pools. You have the main pool, which is right here next to the beach. Right smack in the middle of the resort. And the triangular adults only pool. And even a couple of private pools that go with some of the private villas that are around here. And the biggest pool of all, which is the Caribbean Sea, available to you 24-7 right here on the dock, available to everybody who stays here. Now, for our favorite thing about travel, it's the food. And there are four restaurants at Turtle Inn. Flagship restaurant is Mare. It's right here on the main center of the property. It's right next to the pool. It's overlooking the beach. And it's known for the Italian cuisine, plus the very fresh seafood that comes in off of the ocean every single day. Fresh caught. Fresh. Another one of the more unique dining experiences that we took advantage of is the wine cellar. This is where you can do one of these new wine tastings. $50 per person. And you get to experience this 1200 bottle wine cellar or what they call wine aquarium because of the glass lined front. Very cool in here. It feels amazing. These come from the Coppola family Sonoma and Napa wineries as well as various other worldwide wineries. They're some of his award winning bottles. I'm pretty sure we've tried this one and definitely this one and that one and that one and that one and that one. We've tried lots of wine since we've been here. It almost feels like being in Napa. <gasps> Dom. There's our favorite place to grab lunch because it's super casual, literally no shoes, no shirt, no problem. Tons of service. Have <laughs> you can have cocktails, you can have all of the lunch from the Mare menu, and you're gonna do it right here beachside in the sand. Beautiful Caribbean breeze and Caribbean views. Now we're just crossing the street and it's like a 20 second walk until you get over to this other area where you have the spa, which is called the Sunset Spa, the dive shop, another restaurant called Auntie Luba's, and the very last lodging option right here, which is called Roman's Lagoon Bungalow. And this is the lagoon side of the resort, so you still get gorgeous views and waters. The Lagoon Side Spa is set in an open air Balinese rice house. It smells incredible with hand-painted murals inspired by some ancient art. All treatments use locally sourced organic ingredients. Although they offer all the typical services like massage, body treatments, and facials, the spa actually specializes in traditional Thai massage, and their therapists are trained in these ancient techniques at the sacred Wat Pha Temple in Bangkok. With a subtropical climate, unspoiled keys and atolls, as well as the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere containing a dizzying array of fish and coral, it's no wonder Belize is considered one of the top diving locations in the world. So Reagan and I decided to take advantage of the resort dive shop to plan an all-day charter with two dives around Laughing Bird Key and Silk Key, followed by a final snorkeling swim with sharks and loggerhead sea turtles. If you think big like we do, right over here is the helicopter landing pad. Heading back to the main grounds, we make one of our regular stops to the shaded concierge desk to update arrangements for our upcoming activities. Working with the resort's dedicated staff is honestly one of the best parts of the Turtle Inn experience. Hi! We're in Belize and I love our hut. I'm gonna show you, come on. Welcome to our fully screened in living room, porch slash 
hangout area, third room in the house. So there are two bedrooms and then this main gathering room. Breakfast table over here where we have breakfast each morning and then this awesome lounge area because straight ahead is the ocean and we've got a gorgeous view here. What we love so much about this hut is the vibe, the feeling. This is the most tropical paradise I think we've been to yet. It's crazy hot in Belize, so this dark, shaded hut makes you feel a little bit cooler, tricking your mind. But one little note, there's no air conditioning. A lot of stand-up fans, but also they make these huts with super high ceilings in each of the three rooms because the heat rises and it helps keep it a bit cool. My favorite and the cutest thing in our hut is the shell phone. No, I didn't say cell phone, I said shell phone right here. This is the communication to the front desk. What we do is we hold down this little button long enough until it gives a beep, and then the front desk answers, and you just talk into the shell. And this little fridge is stocked full of all kinds of goodies, and of course, for obvious reasons, plenty of Coppola wine. And as Phil likes to say, let's head into the bedroom. The two rooms are identical. They have queen beds and a full ensuite shower, which is super cool. There's a few desks in here, and this is one of them. Beautiful ocean view. Hey look, I found another desk. So Phil and I are working here, but if you wanna write a novel, go ahead, write a novel. But it's another view of the ocean, straight ahead. The detail on the doors, incredible. Nice big bathroom. I love that it has a vanity. And I love that it has not one, but two showers. Of course, one right here, indoor, which feels like outdoor also, and one truly outdoor shower. Again, dirtiest kid, Colt, takes his showers outdoor every time. I don't wanna be inside anymore. I wanna go out to the beach. It is so sad when a trip like this has to come to an end, but the best part about Turtle Inn and our whole experience here has been the staff. I think there are a lot of really good things about this place. The staff has been incredible I, and our kids actually know all of the staff much better than we do at this point and, our, and the staff knows our kids so much better than yes. they know us. Everybody knows everyone by name. It's so fun to wake up and just say hi to everybody you've met on this trip. It's a big community here. And a lot of that comes from, again, that very small, intimate nature of this resort. It's not a mega resort, so you really have so many staff per guest, and that's why they're allowed to give so much attention to everybody. We didn't realize how badly we needed these five nights here, and I'm gonna get a little teary, but we are leaving, I think, a better family than when we arrived. It's, it's changed us a little bit for the better, and we hope that every trip we do can change us a little bit, but this has been very apparent to us. <laughs> Goodbye from Belize, but please follow us along and subscribe so you can keep up with our next destination, which is Las Vegas. We're headed there tomorrow. We already checked in for the flight. It's that fast, right around the corner, and it's gonna be a completely different experience. That's right, well come around the world with us. See you there. Quick note before we leave, Colt's critter catching was off the charts. Some he found on his own, some the gardener pony helped him find, like the tarantula. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cole, but say that again. I caught a tarantula, but oh. he doesn't want to go on it. What? No. You what? I caught a tarantula. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. This. Don't show your sister. Reagan or Brooklyn? Brooklyn. She's gonna scream. Okay. No, 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 careful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Colt, you are crazy. I love this. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh my it gosh. It feels so weird. It feels so weird. He's only one in the family that really likes spiders. And then some they found us, like the bat. Let me see, where? Right there. Where? In the basket. <gasps> there is a bat? Bad. Hold on, let me get the real camera. There oh. is a bat. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm rushing my team and I called just ran in and was like, there's a bat. Oh my god. This is seriously a bat in our hut. 
Oh my gosh! I can't. What do we do? Believe. How do we get in? What do you have? Seriously, that's a that's like a bat. How do we? What are we gonna do about it? I don't know. I do. I don't He's know what to do adorable. about it. Adorable. Say we just pick up the trash can and just like let him go yeah, outside. I will. All in all, it was an incredible trip for him and really eye-opening for us, understanding that he really belongs in nature out here in the world and we're doing the right thing by him with traveling so much because he belongs here among all the animals and critters. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week, from our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.